So what do you find more enjoyable about this over PUBG? Um, I like several things. Um, first off, I pick the guns I want to start with. And all the grenades and healing, all that stuff. Right? So I like that. Um, I like that there's no armor. So everyone is going to die in the same amount of hits. Right? Like, I headshot someone, they die. No questions asked. I don't have to headshot them, you know, three or four fucking times because they have a level three helmet. Cash register up here. Um, I like that I don't have to go looting for gear. Unfucked and consumable down here. Nice. Where was the cash? I also, I enjoy the theme, you know, like the Old West theme is kind of cool. Um, I like the gunplay. The fact that almost every single gun is like some kind of single shot or bolt action or it's kind of slow, right? It's more about having well-placed shots than it is spamming. Because with um, PUBG, like, yeah, here's the horse. Um, in PUBG, uh, like, even at range, like, when you get good enough, if you have a 4X on an M4, like, you can still spam, you know? Like, you can go full auto on someone at range and just... I don't know. I don't, I don't like that. Crow's here if you have a fire source. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn, that team fucked up the other team. Oh, they did? Yeah, they crossed the map <laughs> and took their shit. I'm glad they ignored us, because we were probably in their path. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things I enjoy about this, more over PUBG. Um, another thing is, like, there's no... Instead of, like, getting knocked, and then your teammate having to get you up, um, you just get, like, knocked unconscious. You don't move around. You can't see anything from your body. And um, as long as you don't get... Um, as long as you haven't been knocked too many times, or someone uh, doesn't burn your body, your teammates can come back at any point in the match and revive you. Yeah, so no thirsting. Yeah. Yeah, there's no thirsting. Like it's it's, it's just impossible. Like you can't thirst them once they've been knocked. It. Like you could yeah. burn them, but there's no benefit to doing that besides putting pressure on the other team. Like you don't get yeah. more kills for burning someone. I do wish you could start off with at least basic level 1 gear, but looting is not really an issue if you have some forward planning. But it is an issue for me in PUBG because you have to do it. Like, every single time I choose not to loot and play aggressive, even if it's, like, in the same fucking city, you know, like, we all land in, say, fucking Hacienda or something, and I take the time to, like, cross the compound and kill the guy, by the time I get there, he's got full level 2 fucking gear or something half the time, you know? I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit. But you know what I mean, right? Like, if you have a fight in, say, um... What was it? Like, Formorsk or something like that, and you decide to rush, and the other guy decides to stay still and, and just loot? Like, you pretty much always lose. Like, the window for rushing people in PUBG is extremely fucking small. They have to be in, like, the next room over from you. Oh. I also enjoy the PvE element. Like, the fact that there's... Like, we're not doing the objective right now. Ryan and I are just running around killing zombies and kind of doing the event instead of doing the objective. You know? But I'm having fun. Yeah. Crow's over here. Oh, nice. Yeah, a little, but that's the risk, I guess. It's always safer to just loot unless, yeah, they're next to you. And that's, I to me, that's a design problem. Like, the fact that oh. that's just how the game's designed. Like, it is safer to play it safe and loot than it is to go aggressive. This means, like, I feel like I'm making a mistake if I if I play aggressive in PUBG. Like I shouldn't be doing it. I'm gambling. Would be nice to revive a dead teammate. I mean, yeah, that's that's what I liked about um uh what's it called? Apex Legends. 
because Apex Legends had that mechanic where it had knocking and then, you know, your teammate could still crawl around and give information and stuff like that. But then it also had, like, thirsting. But then, if your teammates could get to your body, they could, like, grab your keycard or something and then go somewhere else and revive you. So as long as your team was up, like, you always theoretically could get back into the match and fight. Like, you had to get team wiped in order for that to not be possible. It's similar in Hunt, too, technically. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. L it's just, it's a little more burning severe. instead of whatever, yeah. right? But it's so easy to put the burnout. Right. If you bring chokes, so. Okay. PUBG is just more hardcore, hardcore survival battle royale. Yeah, that's true. Because you need to go loot everything and, you know, death is more permanent. The bots fit this game's theme, but bots in competitive multiplayer games seem dumb and only there for goldfish peoples. I don't know. See, like, what's why I like the... There's so much AI in this game to interact with because it, it, it staves off boredom, but more importantly, it gives me a way to warm up. So, like, if I'm playing, you know, but I haven't seen any players yet, like, I can shoot at zombies and, like, try, you know, get warmed up on my aim before I go. Yeah. Um, I think with the PvE it. thing, also, if you're... If you're trying to make the PvE look like you're fighting a PvP player, like you're 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 trying to make it, trying to hide the fact they're not hiding it. Obviously, everyone knows, but like, you can't tell technically what is and is not a bot in uh, in PUBG, right? You can't you you know because of the behavior, but there's not something that says this is a bot over it. Whereas in Hunt, there's a clear distinction between PvE and PvP. So right, one sec. Hey, Dylan. Yeah. Dylan, you uh, there? You want to play yeah. Hunt? Sure. Right. Hop on in, buddy. But yeah, no, I, I hear you. Like, there's there's not, like, bots running around that look like hunters. Yeah, yeah. But even and if I, they did that, I'd be fine with it, you know? Yeah, I... You just described my rando teammates. <laughs> right. Uh... I'd be fine with it. Like, especially if you could, it was, like, um, you know, you could go into a match and there were only AI hunters to fight against. Like, there were no players. Mm, okay. I think that'd be fun. You know, if you just want to, like, play Hunt, but you don't want to be, like, stressing about Hunt, like, you just want to kind of play casually. Yeah, if there was a mode like that, that'd be cool. Yeah. Mm. If you just want to play with your friends. Yeah. Yeah. I All think right, that's so the only thing. Have a good night, dude. Enjoy your dinner. Have fun with Dota. We'll play Dota soon. I think that's the only thing that Hunt could actually improve on, in my opinion, is making more game modes. Well, but I mean, if you do the, what you're saying, where it's like you have to separate the stats and stuff, too. True. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you could just make the bots not count for the stats, but maybe you can, like, grind XP off of them or something. I don't know. Mm. Ow. Fuck you, Scrappy, you sack of shit. That's so loud. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess, but like, you shouldn't be able to get Bloodline XP either then, right? Why? Because you're just farming bots. You're not really playing the game. Yeah, I guess so. You want to get all least about it. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, they have a stat tracker for a reason, right? Like yeah yeah true and why am i using a conversion when i can use a chain pistol cool oh, what's wrong with you? i'm gonna have fanning so oh i didn't tomahawk anything that whole match ah uh, i forgot about it content content <laughs>